I'm going to show you how to create a multi-language mini chatbot powered by artificial intelligence. We're going to use Dialogflow. That's Google's AI. It's leading conversational AI that makes your mini chatbot smarter. And uh, I just created a demo here. I just called it Restaurant Bot. And let's get into it. And you'll see I have a, a welcome message that's served up by ManyChat, and I've added a language selector. So I've added two languages here, English and Spanish. If I uh, click into English, uh, you'll see that uh, I get a uh, message in English. This is a flow uh, in English. And if I send a message, say test, uh, we should get back a default reply from Dialogflow in English. Uh, let's change that to Spanish. And now you'll see, well, I've got a flow that's in Spanish. So what we'll want to do here is now that we have a flow in Spanish, we'll want to test out, let's send the same response, same message. This one's in English. Well, we got a default reply in Spanish, and that's because we had selected Spanish uh, as our language preference. And uh, if I respond in Spanish, let's do that, uh, then we should get a response back from Dialogflow in Spanish. And of course, you can easily uh, change your language midway in the conversation. Uh, so if I just say English, uh, and uh, I'll be taken into English and I can reply in English and I'll get uh, an English response from Dialogflow. So that's the response that we trained for thanks in English. So that is uh, something you cannot do easily with uh, keywords and flows in many chat. You need artificial intelligence for that. So let me show you how I set all this up. We have uh, our English intents, and I have EN highlighted. We also have another language, ES. So if I uh, toggle to ES, you'll see that I have the same intents, because that is how I name my intents. But if I click into the intent, you'll see here that my training phrases for this intent uh, this is, I have gracias is my training phrase, and then I have a, my response in Spanish. But you can just toggle back and forth between your intents, and the intent names will be the same, and everything will be the same, but the training phrases will reflect your language selection. And so to add a new language, and I've added a third language here, which I didn't use in my demo. If I roll over it, you see FR for, for Francais, French. Uh, but to add another language, you just click the plus icon and uh, you'll see here these are the three uh, languages that I've added and to add an additional language you just pick from here and Dialogflow supports uh, 16 different languages so now how do we set that up in many chat well let's jump over here so we have English and and we have Spanish and if we just click into that uh, you'll see we want to open that flow uh, and you'll see here that, let's click this, you'll see here that we've set a custom field, and that custom field is Lang. That's what Janice.ai uh, will understand as a language preference, and we'll pass that on to Dialogflow to set the language. And you can see here that our uh, value for that user uh, custom field is uh, set to EN because that is the language code over here, EN. And now if we go back, uh, let's go back to our flows, where is our welcome message? And let's click into that, whoops. Okay, so now if I go into here, uh, let's open this flow, you'll see that uh, we have that custom field lang and the value has been set to ES. And that is this language code here. So that is how you set uh, your language preferences uh, in ManyChat. And uh, Janice will then relay uh, that, that information to Dialogflow. And 
you'll be able to communicate with your users in multiple languages. So give it a try and let me know how it goes.